The drilling of round holes in metal is done efficiently by use of the drill press. The drilling of the hole is accomplished when the hand feed lever is forced down to feed or press the drill into the workpiece. Power for turning the drill is transmitted to the spindle from a cone pulley, which receives its power through a belt from a cone pulley on the motor. The speed is controlled by the position of the belt on the pulleys. The head of the drill press supports the entire power unit. The spindle holds and drives the drill, the column and base, support the head, spindle, and work table. The work table provides a solid place to clamp and hold the workpiece. The cutting tool of the drill press is the twist drill. This taper shank drill is held in the spindle by a taper shank. The spindle of the drill press rotates within a sleeve, which can move up and down. The spindle on this sensitive drill press is fed into the work by the hand feed lever. This lever is connected to the pinion, which is in mesh with the rack on the back of the sleeve. The spindle sleeve is equipped with an adjustable collar or stop that will ensure a predetermined depth of hold. As the spindle is moved down, the drill is fed into the workpiece. The chips are forced out of the hole as pressure is applied. Clear the chips without danger to the operator or machine. A round, true hole is the result. A correctly ground drill held in a true spindle will produce a hole to size. The work table of the drill press may be raised or lowered to accommodate work pieces of different heights. It may also be swung sideways to center the work. A punch mark is used to guide the drill at the start of the drilling. A drift is used to remove the drill. In order to use a straight shank drill in the drill press, a chuck must be fitted into the spindle. The drill is tightened in the chuck. The spindle arm also may be raised or lowered on the column to accommodate different sizes of workpieces.
The drill press has several basic parts, each having a function necessary to the whole. The base supports the entire machine. The column supports the head, spindle arm, and table. The spindle arm supports the spindle. The head consists of the motor and drive. The spindle holds and turns the drill. The feed lever is used to raise and lower the drill. The drill does the cutting. And the table supports the work. Though all drill presses have the same basic design, there are many adaptations and variations to be found in the machine shop. This drill press has been turned upside down. The drill is fed up into the work so that the chips fall from the drill point. This gear-driven upright drill press has a hand wheel for rapid raising and lowering of the spindle. And a power feed for the drilling. This workpiece is mounted in a jig, which aids in speeding production of identical parts. The drill is guided into the workpiece by the use of a jig bushing. This bushing, made of hardened tool steel, ensures correct location of the hole. Radial drill presses are used for drilling large workpieces. It's easier to bring the drill to the work than to locate the workpiece to the drill. The spindle of the radial drill press may be moved on the radial arm to center the drill in the working position. The arm is attached to the column in such a way that it may be moved up or down by means of a geared power drive. The spindle on the radio drill may be moved to any desired position on the workpiece by swinging the arm and moving the head on the arm. Radial drills have power feed as well as hand feed. For speed in changing drills, a quick change chuck is used. To drill many holes at the same time, a multiple spindle head drill press is used. Multiple spindle head drills used with a jig save time both in setting the tools and drilling the holes. Regardless of the size and shape of workpiece or the size of the holes to be drilled, all drilling operations require a machine having the same basic parts as a simple drill press.